Hi. Hi. My name is Sherry. I'm Carissa. And we are going to show you some of, well, all of the new in, in colors and new core colors today. We're going to do a little color comparison. But first, before we do that, we're going to show you a couple of different things. One, we have this. We can't show you the inside, but we do kind of match. Well, she matches this better than me. So she's got the new Lemon Lolly. I have the new copper copper clay on. If you go to Old Navy right now, you can just shop shop all, all the, the new colors. colors, all the colors. And then we have a couple before we turn the camera the other way. We have a we've been busy stamping, so we have a couple of things to show you. And then when we're done showing you all the colors, we're gonna stamp a couple more things. You want to show them yours first? Sure. So this one matches my outfit. This is the new card kit. Um, it's got the new lemon. And it has these super I cute love the envelopes, envelopes, which match this foil piece. And then with some of our new in color and core colors, along with the new stamps and dies and embellishments and ribbon. What's this that one called? Lost Lagoon um, Country Countryside Inn, maybe something countryside over there. Uh, I don't know. She has a video that she's going to post on her yeah. channel, which is Cards by Rest. <clears throat> So this is the one I did. I popped up every few layers and that is Lost Lagoon Boho Blue and Mauve. And then I have this one that is, it's on YouTube now. I just haven't posted it. So it'll be up in a little bit. Well, actually it'll be up by the time this one goes up because, and this one is called, uh, we moved all the cases. I don't know where it went. Um, balloon. It's balloon something. So it's got a ton of new colors on it as well. Oh, my nail. Um, and it has that new fringe dye, which is a lot of fun. She matches right it here. too. Yeah. Fringe dye. We kind of cleaned up and kind of didn't. So we have, we have some stuff, stuff on the table, but not the name of the stamp case. And then this one is the new, this one's here, Cheerful, Cheerful Daisies. Daisies. So this is a fun fold. And this one is already on YouTube as well. So that's this part. We will flip it around and we have, so once upon a time when she was maybe in college, I gave her lots of old ink pads. And so I called her this morning and I said, bring any old colors that you have. And so she brought I have all lots of, of old, old colors. colors. <laughs> so you may think that lemon lolly looks like barely banana and there's a chance we have barely banana to show you if it we looks sure like do. it <laughs> so it may need to be re-inked and we might not have the re-inker but we have lots of the different colors of cardstock in markers and so we'll do what we have to compare old and new so let's see what we have all right so we are going to start with the yellows so we have one new yellow and we're going to do the browns. So we're going to kind of mix it new, in. New, current, and retired. So we're going to do, um, let's go with the lemon lolly, which is the newest of the yellows. Um, let's do on this one, let's show them because sometimes even, you know, my some of my girls may be listening and they're going to be like, yeah, you, you dobbed us in. But if you don't know, here's what you do with these. Because sometimes they'll say, how did you get those stickers? Well, you all got the stickers. So if you don't know, of course, I'm going to pick one that you can't hardly see. It's the top one. So you're going to grab this. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone there. with the, the yellow. The glare and, is just right from the window. Um, so you're going to pull that off and stick it on. And before we get going, there are two of us doing this, and we both have two hands. Sometimes when we do the videos together, somebody will say there's too many hands. I don't know if you think one of us should chop our hands off or what, but that's how many hands we have. So if you have a problem with the, there being four hands in the video, then just stop watching and go find somebody that's doing it by themselves. Then there are some, some in different languages. And then there's one down here that's empty. I like to take the empty one. Or sometimes on I like the um the way they sound in the other languages. Sometimes they almost sound like English and you can tell easily what it is. But you can put that right inside here and then you take your bone folder, which we moved everything off the table to make way for all this stuff. Our cat was up on the table. So there's little cat hairs. 
and then you put that in there. And then when you have it open, you can still see what color it is. Um, and so if you put one of the other languages, but then when you close it, when it's there, you can see, and you can take one of the other languages that here too. So no matter which way you slide it in, you can see. So she's gonna stamp with Lemon Lolly. Where do we put our chamois? You have the chamois? Yeah, right here. And then we're gonna compare it to some of the colors that you're like, I don't think I need Lemon Lolly because I already have this. So, and sometimes they dry. A little lighter. Light, lighter. So there's Lemon Lolly and it is a new core color, not a... Also, it looks absolutely adorable in these new embellishments. I'm obsessed with the lemon lolly. It the looks like a salad. Gems. You know what it looks like? What? A lemon, lemon lolly. Oh yeah. Well, it looks <laughs> yeah, like candy. That's why I think it's cute. So if you're not from the United Kingdom or Australia, if you're from, it would be lemon candy, but that doesn't sound good. But all the other countries that's saying lemon candy, cause they would say lemon lolly. So here is, where's the lemon lolly paper? Right there. So I'm assuming it's going to dry a little bit lighter because here's the paper. So here's some, here's pineapple punch. I can stamp it if we want to stamp. Yep. She's going to stamp it and then you'll have to remember to write it. Get that fluorescent thing out of the way. So here's pineapple punch paper. Here's so saffron paper, which I know some people probably think it is very similar to so saffron. It's not similar at all. So that was saffron. pineapple. Pineapple. Yep. That was an in color a few years ago. So I have the year on it. Um, eighteen to twenty. I only know because it was my favorite. Here's daffodil. Not even close to daffodil paper. That one is saffron. This is a good job for two people because trying to do it for one. And here's mango. Mango is, uh, is it an orange? Is it a yellow? Yellow, but I think, is it, did it's it leave? Gone. Yep. So if you love mango, that one's leaving. I don't know what, I haven't That's checked daffodil. that. Saffron is also leaving. So, um, I'm gonna write retiring on here. We'll post pictures on our website of this. Yeah, and this one's gone. Do you have banana? I do. She has barely banana. That hasn't been around. I it may not bumblebee. It may not stamp very well. We'll see. It's a craft pad. <laughs> really? Mm, yeah, it doesn't it look like it has dry. any ink in it. Yeah, I think it's. Oh, if you squish really hard, here we go. We're getting it. This is like down. Upside down. Nope, not yeah, enough. Yeah, that's barely nothing. That's <laughs> not barely banana. It's barely there. We tried. Yes, we I did. have um, bumblebee and summer sun of old yellows as well. Bumblebee, we my and we had bumblebee paper, didn't we? Yep, bumblebee paper is right here. Put that over here. Here's the bumblebee that's paper. That's between the new yellow and the new wheat. We tried to find summer star fruit because I think the summer star fruit is kind of similar to the new wheat. I don't remember what the second W of the wheat is. Do you? I do not. That's bumblebee. Yeah. That's a good place to start with the new wheat. What's yeah. the other yellow that summer you have? Summer sun. Summer sun's been a minute too. It may it's, be dry. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have two of them though, so we'll see. If either of them work. Looks pretty dry. You can it's the ones that were the fabric That's pads. Yeah, fabric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could see it. Yep, that one is dry. So for people, sometimes people are like, I liked the old fabric pads. They dry up. <laughs> yes, they do. That was dry dry. So what do you have in the blends or any of the colors Pineapple. missing? The rest of them we have, all of them. What's this one? That's pineapple light. That looks like it's green. It does. I've always thought that. 
Okay, so Use let's pineapple do. Pineapple paper if you want that. I had pineapple paper in here. Okay. So let's do the new wheat. The, I'll put the old ones over here so they stay separate. And this is lemon, right? Yep. So here's the new wheat. Wild wheat. So we're done with the, and then that'll take us into the browns. Yep. Which and there's curry lots of new browns. Oh yeah, do crushed curry. In between it stayed. the wheat, it did. It did. I'm gonna write it. These are my colors that are coming and then up. Retired on Bumblebee. That one needs to be re-inked. We're gone. Sometimes it makes a difference if they need to be re-inked. This one is a little bit more yellow than Bumblebee, I think, but it's just, we should have re-inked them before we started this process. This one's really pretty. So let's pull its paper out. This one's getting lighter now than the pineapple. Isn't this pretty? It's kind of, it's kind of a little green. It is. Which you don't notice it when it was laying on its own, but when you put it here with all the yellows, you can see the green tinge to it. It's like this little green. I feel like uh, Sarah about this color. We have similar opinions. I love it. So let's go. Cinnamon cider or creamy caramel? Well, look, when, well now I wish we would have put it with the greens. Look at it with pear. Yeah, it does and look with, green. Well, pear's gone now. Well, I know, it? it's gone. Look at with the olive. With all of it turns green. For yeah, sure. it does, definitely does. We put it with the wrong color family. But we're stuck here now. Let's, because now we have all the brown pads and out. It looks like a yellow brown here. And then the paper and the ink yeah. are leaning green. Well, um, because we have I browns out. So green. here, let's do this. <laughs> we'll go yep. back to it. So let's do okay, the browns. So did we, yeah, we have Cajun Craze and those things out? Or are we just going to go brown? Because this is going to take us to the oranges, too. Yeah. This is the new. The pads are under there. This is the new pecan, pecan pie, pie. Which I think is similar to cinnamon. Oh, no, cinnamon's more red. The paper's in between these two. So here is the new copper, which I love. And this is cinnamon cider. cinnamon cider and pecan pie. I could make a card just with this and some copper embossing powder. How pretty would that be? Yeah. But so no, I'm going to get confused. First. So we're going to do pecan pie. I'm going to start over here because okay. that wild wheat threw us. See, you think you know what the colors are going to look like and what you already have that you don't need. And then they're not. So pecan pie, and then we're going to compare it to cinnamon. This is the cinnamon cider. That's definitely more red. And that was when we had all of the gingerbread stuff in the yeah. holiday catalog that year. I and have cinnamon cider is caramel, but it might be dry. We'll see. Some of those you just need to throw away. Because <laughs> that I is. I think it's time. That, that is looks a, pretty dry. Um, That's also fabric. Fabric pad, yes. Well, stuff's <clears> coming <throat> out. It's not as old as the others were, so it may have some hope. It's really light <laughs> and dirty. <laughs> that was not a very. We're the color was brighter in the that. trash. Um, but here's Cajun Craze. So what color? That was caramel. Well, caramel, caramel was actually, it was it a was, light color. It was a light brown. It was a light yeah. color. And it's lighter because it's a craft pad. And here's soft suede. Which is, this is it. One? I love soft suede and it is gone. Do you have the stamp pad? It's in that stack. I, I love soft suede, but if I had to compare it now to pecan pie, I would pick pecan pie. Yeah. Even though soft suede has been one of my favorite colors. Yeah. This is a prettier brown. It is. It's a really And nice I thought brown. I was sad that this was leaving. Well, I was going to post this on our web website. This is kind of ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and this is sweet. Mm -hmm. That needs to be re-inked. That's yeah. not a good one. Where's my other There's one? There's a second one over there somewhere. I think I put it back in my box because that's not good. Oh, it's on the bottom of that stack. Okay. I'll try again. See how you can go right over the top of that. I have one that I use and one that just sits there and I brought both of them over. I don't know, this one might be re-ink too. It's better. Yeah. This is prettier though. Look at how much prettier that brown yeah. is than that. Okay. I'm okay that soft suede is gone. If you like it though, get it because it's retiring. What color next? Greens? Espresso. With the browns. Well, why did you put the thing down? Because you were eating a pecan. I mean, a pistachio. Oh, it's very quiet. It's going to be very loud on that thing. Oh, Are you done? Yeah, I've been then eating move them the whole thing. time. You crack, it was the shell. So now we're going to do espresso, which really we haven't replaced it with anything, but just to see. We're here with the. It's very pretty. This is cinnamon, right? Yep. So we need to move it. Yeah. That looks really pretty with that. And look at it with the paper. Mm -hmm. That's a nice combination. So if you keep your soft suede, like if you get soft suede, it looks pretty mm -hmm. with that. And then this is the new copper. So let's copper do the Cajun. Clay. I need copper. Let's do copper clay first. Stamp it here next. I want to see what it looks like with the cinnamon. cinnamon. I was thinking the same. I think it has more of the orange tinge. Yeah, it definitely does. It's more orange. Now I think it looks more Cajun craze. Oh, Did no we bring Cajun? We don't have all the current colors over here. In a minute, we're going to have everything I own on the table. And what about, um, do you have terracotta? I do. I can grab it. It's next to me. That was one of my favorite colors. That was a good one. Because we have lots of pots. Yeah. Like we have lots of needs for it. Oh yeah, that's much more orange. But it also current. needs to be re-inked. Terracotta tile. So when Sarah was here a couple of weeks ago, she suggested that when you buy these new pads that you get the refill because they're made at the same place. So when the inks are made at the same place at the same time, they're the same chemicals. And you never know at what point in the future they may have to change where they're being made. And the chemicals might differ just slightly. And so the color and the content of the chemicals like I don't understand this is terracotta mm -hmm. um so it's better to know that I love this color um that one was freshly re-inked <laughs> so go ahead and if you buy pecan pie get the pecan pie refill now and then they've been made at the same place then if you have old refills of other things Thank you can you use God. them to color embossing paste or Stella. Um, Stella or paint with them, um, do other things with them or just buy ink, empty ink spots and refill them with that. And then it doesn't have any chemical reaction. Cause sometimes if you notice a chemical reaction, when you put them in differing pads, that's mm -hmm. what's happening. So do we have any other things that are kind of orange ish? Mm -hmm. Those ones are all stamped. Let me see what else I have over here in my bag of ones. Really the copper clay, it doesn't, it, really like rust. it's not, Oh yeah, that's an old one. I have two of them, so we'll see which one works. <laughs> if either, they might be all dried up. And then there's always the good old shaving cream technique that we used to do when you were kids and marbles. Up. Remember you used to do the marbles? The shaving cream. There's lots of stuff you can do with refills. So this one looks much juicier than the other one. Both fabric pads. <laughs> it's deceiving. It is. Ah, uh, there's color coming off. We've got bits of it. <laughs> that looks like a pad that's 10 years old, 15 years old. Is it 
Um, yeah, it's rust. Yeah. It looks rusty. It That's is really sure. rust. It'd be easier if we had the cardstock, but you know, it's easier to throw away. Here's the Cajun craze with the copper. So this it definitely is more orange than the copper. Oh, no. When fall rolls around, we'll definitely be using these. So I think that's a pretty good comparison though of none of the colors are when you think I don't need pecan pie because I have cinnamon, you can see that's definitely different. A different color. Or yeah. I don't need um what's this one? Cin um copper, copper because pie. I have Cajun, they're different colors. Because the Cajun craze is definitely more orange. More orange. Yeah, you can definitely tell in here, too. So, if you're in my card club, you're getting um, all of the new colors, a little square like this. They won't have the little names on them, but you can take your pen and write names on them. This is from the last time we did a color refresh. Okay, we are going to do my favorite color, I think, of the new ones is Pebbled Path. But it makes sense because my favorite, what's your favorite color of the current colors, like as they were before in of February, all the in February, what was current last year? Soft succulent, well, but it's gone. So my favorite color is gray granite because is it gray or is it brown? And when you look at this, is it gray or is it brown? I like it. It's like look how well they go together. People are always they kind of are shocked when gray granite is my favorite color. It's a fun neutral. It's a different kind of neutral. And when everybody was guessing what colors we're gonna leave, they're like, oh, gray green, it's a goner. And I was like, please don't have gray green to leave. And it didn't leave. But Sahara Sand did, and I used that over gray granite. That's my favorite. Cause I think that's an, is it gray or it is. is it brown? Yeah, it's pretty I think too. it's more brown. If it had stayed, it would make a nice yeah. palette with that. Of so neutrals, let's do these, do Pebbled Path. But look how pretty the cardstock is. I've already used it so you can see. Got this little hunk out of it. I don't even remember what, oh, I cut the sunflower branches out with that. So here's the gray granite. And it, it will be gray if you pair it with stuff that has a gray tinge to it and it looks brown if you, that's just pretty. Cause here it looks a little. It looks more gray than Yeah, a little, little dry black, a, a kind of, you wanna write? So that's the pebbled path here. Here's the gray granite. Here's smoky slate. And here's basic gray. And then Sahara sand is retiring. So if you like it, which is probably gonna make this look a little bit gray, um, I think. And then here, if you put it with espresso, I could use an espresso. Her dad makes me one every day at 4.30. The unfortunate thing is if I don't get one every day at 4.30, then I get a headache. <laughs> but here, see, it starts to take on different tones if you put it. And it's just a fun neutral. It's fun to stamp on these colors. It's fun to emboss on those colors. Here's Sahara Sand. So this will finish out this little. It's fun to do this. And Stampin' Up! has provided us. Um, so... If we're not one of, if one of us isn't your demonstrator, ask your demonstrator. They've given us color charts, and I will be sending them out probably to my card club members, and then as thank you gifts. But for every single page in the catalog, um, the colors that the Stampin' Up artist chose for the samples as it goes through the catalog, um, and it looks kind of like this. See, this looks much more gray up here than brown. But when you look at the papers here, and if you stamped this on the brown page, which... We spell it American, don't we? Oh, I spell it with an E. That's just pretty. Mm -hmm. But it gives you a fun... This wouldn't work for most people no, the way we I did am it. I miss this color. A though. lot of them are... Of the neutrals, I use that the most. So there we have Pebbled Path. A beautiful color. So let's now move to the ones that we got the most new of, which would be blues. Not necessarily new, because they're new and returning. 
So I I used this color in my balloon video and I said it wrong. Say it. It's green. azure. Azure. I would have. Uh, that's how I think it is. She took linguistics in college, so I'm going to defer to her. Um, let me pull it out. These are in colors. Wrong one. You can stamp with it. So that is a new core color. Right? Yep. Yes. I believe so. It is because Boho is the new blue. Yeah. So here we go with that. And it is right. the color in Greece? I, I think so. I feel like so, this is how they describe the Greek blue and white tiles. I feel like we need to go there now to see them. I would love that. A Mamma Mia moment. Yes. So. Her heritage is Slovenian. And I just spelled afternoon wrong. But that's okay. It's kind of hard to see. So. Yep. <laughs> so we pulled out some blues that we felt looked kind of like them. Which I think probably yeah, um, for sure where the pacific point go um i think it's in that stack these are all new i thought it was oh yeah what's well, just sitting here maybe i take it back there it is, there it is. there's uh, there's lots of blues lots of blues on so it probably too. um pacific point and tahitian, tahitian tide which i'm gonna on have either to go side of it. get some tahitian tide paper Here's Pacific Point. This is much, I think, lighter and fresher, don't you think? Yeah. And then this is a current tied. in color. So we have another year with that, that these two could work together. But you can see how that is that Greek blue. This is brighter. This is more yeah. like a party I've beach kind of Tahitian. Pacific Point is close to the Greek blue, especially with the Sun Prince paper this year being blue and white. But I think... This is where afternoon is closer. I'm going to do it either side so you can see. Oops, that was a bad stamp. <laughs> Thank goodness for photopolymer. Oh, that was a pretty good matchup there. Yeah, from the side, that's Pacific Point. It has more of a dual tone. Mm -hmm. But it is leaving. Yep, that one's that's gone. So if you like it, this is these are both brighter, and definitely the paper is. We'll see if ballet brighter works because I think it could be similar. This see, is an they old look one. Look like they have ink. They just <laughs> yeah. you do this and nothing happens. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Nope. We've there's that nothing. In the trash. You can still see from the label though. The label's held up well. Yes. This is that's between more Azure of a pastel. and Boho. This is a bright pastel. That's back when we had. Pastels of the, like, subtles as a. Oh, this one is. Oh, that's more like Starry Sky. You can try it. I'm this was clean out my uh, That's kind of like my... a school blue. Yeah. Well, you obviously haven't used them in quite some time. Oh, this one looks promising. <laughs> you don't think that looks wet? <laughs> oh, that's the wrong If we were doing it stamp. live. Yeah, there's no promise in that thing a little bit <laughs> that is not brilliant blue no that's it reactivated okay. whatever was on there last so i could go get the tahitian tide paper but you Do can see, see that there's an obvious difference we're gonna fill my trash can up so there is azure is that how you said yeah it? azure now we have some returning we have three returning blues, so should we just get I'll these? I put this in the green blue, but these are all returning, yeah. Okay, so we'll do that with, with the, the green. Greens. We'll transition from blue to green. Yeah, and we one. have one um, new blue. We'll do blueberry, you think? Yeah. I, oh, I left my blueberry paper. Well, you have it in I there. I have blueberry paper. I have blueberry paper at home. Blueberry is a new core, core color. color. It was in the 2018 well, you know to 2020. I don't know that that was not, <laughs> this is blueberry. I started to say maybe that was blueberry I pulled out just a second ago. So confidently, this is blueberry. Yeah. This is 2018 to the new color. brilliant blue. Yeah. This is more well, what brilliant blue was. It's also very close to Pacific Point in the darker. Yeah. This is the most traditional blue I think that we've yeah. ever had. Cat I was hair. so sad when it left. But if you are looking like for a good school color, 
Yeah. Which is the one, her school colors were purple, um, right. purple and white, which is the one that we just said. Yes, starry sky. Yes, starry it's sky. Exactly my school color. Yeah, that is a good school color. So this is let's, very butler blue. If you see, this is the um, one that's retiring right here. Oh, that's blueberry bushel. Yep. <laughs> and there's specific points. So you can see over time, because this was 28, five 18. years ago, that this is a piece of cardstock made then, and this is them bringing it back, and it's the same color. But here it is with the, those are two very different blues. Um, do I have a piece of Starry Sky sitting here? I'm going to get a piece of Starry Sky because people think okay. that Starry Sky is, they think that it is um, a blue, and a purple. blue, but when you stamp it just on its own, it is purple and it put with white, it is definitely her purple and white purple that from school. So it's kind of a funny color. It leans in between because here the ribbon is it's definitely purple. purple. It's a fun color to work with. I like those ones that can kind of be two different ones. Mm -hmm. So we've done blueberry bristle. We've done. We need Misty so Moonlight. Misty Moonlight. It's coming back. It's coming back. It, people get it confused with Dapper Denim, which was which also we have a, on the table. Yes, we do have that. It was a, in color as well. Uh, Misty Moonlight is kind of one of those dusty colors. And the paper is a little it. bit more dusty, I think, than the ink. But it does well for, I think, Which especially I think men's cards. Very much like a not quite navy. Yeah. It's almost exactly not quite navy stamp there. And then this will be dapper denim. I'll just do a color swipe. And look how pretty, if you're going to make a guy's pretty. card, to put the pebbled path. Yeah with the um, Moonlight. Is it Moonlight? Yes, Misty Moonlight. You wanna label those two? Yes. And Dapper Denim. So did the Not Quite Navy, is it dried up? Probably, but we'll find out. Okay, now um, this is pulling me back in time. You know what we always wrote for Not Quite Navy? In QN? That was Not Quite Navy. No, that's Dapper Denim. Oh, uh, well. I really went into write not quite navy. Not quite navy has some juice <laughs> compared you to the said, others. Oh well, at least we can see it. Yeah, yeah, that looks like the paper. Yeah, and it's not quite navy. This is um, Dapper. Denim. No, that's misty no. This moonlight. is misty moonlight. This is Dapper. I'm denim. getting confused. Too many blues. Yep. I can keep this when it works. I wouldn't want to stamp anything terribly important in it because well, that's crafting so I can buy it. <laughs> so this was in human. And then we have one new, new blue. blue, which we've known was coming because the you everybody can get the sweet, sweet it is so much fun it's to so use cute. this and you can order this right now while supplies last is the Boho Blue Mini Machine. Well maybe this was Boho Blue. No, that's no. an in color. <laughs> Boho Blue is in the other pack. But I do think Boho Blue is very, very similar to Seaside Spray. It's a shade darker. Yeah. I think if you stamped off, you would get Seaside Spray. You have oh. Seaside Spray to... No, that's the no only pad. ink pad I don't have left. Um, this is very close to Tahitian Tide. Tempting Turquoise. That's a big throwback. Let me get the piece of paper you stamp with Boho Blue while okay. I go get the tempting or the Tahitian Tide and we'll compare those. Boho Blue. Oh, that's stamped darker than I thought it would. I thought it would be like. Here's Tahitian Tide. Here's Tempting Turquoise. This is a. This is a little bit darker. Yeah, darker. This is brighter. It's very close. It is very close. It would be a pretty card. Again, this is more of a jewel tone. Mm -hmm. Whatever era these are from was jewel tone era. And this is... Yeah. Well, I think these are the ones where they're... These colors are bringing the 80s neon back. back. Yeah. And this was actual... Yeah. We had just lived the 80s, and so let's tone it down. <laughs> 
I'm going to have these all mixed up and I'm not going to know what any of them are. That back. I thought that was boho. No, that's boho. <laughs> I'll see if bordering blue has got some ink though because it looks similar in packaging. Oh, that looks similar to the paper. <laughs> Say it. It looks promising. <laughs> that one actually doesn't look it promising. It does not look promising at I all. I was thinking color what? Oh, you can see where I was on there. We give it a good squish. It's got nothing. I do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperate for these to work. I've held on to them for so long. Oh, that actually is bordering blue. It is bordering blue. It's between like a... Some of the old names are just straight up what they are. Yeah. It's bordering blue. You can tell I painted with Stella in here. And this is not quite navy. Yeah. And this is boho blue. I'm sad Seaside Spray is the only one I don't have because I think that would have been very similar. So I wish that we had um, all of the... Not Rococo. Oh, I have that here. The ones before that. Rose Romance, and there was another one. Oh, I have Rose Romance, I think. What was the other one? Because I could never put them away because I didn't know which was which. Um, Rose Red? Yes, I couldn't tell the difference between it's them. Sitting on the floor, if it works. Okay, so that is I all the blues. I think we need to do blues. Lost Lagoon, okay, because so, that's between a blue and a green. Yes. Is, I always and think this it's is a going blue. to be my new favorite color since we don't have. It's very. I think it's soft succulenty. Yeah, it is. And just you have your soft succulent over here. No, I didn't I bring mine? it because it's current. I think this is going to be my my new color. <laughs> Can you open it? No, <laughs> no I, I couldn't can't. get one of the new ones open yesterday. Okay. I think this one's going to have it a lot It may have been that one. Similar. I used that one yesterday. I used it earlier today and I couldn't get it. Boss Lagoon. That's very pretty. Yeah. I'll find the paper. Which I think is going to be similar to Succulent and... It's, I think it's a little... Um, it's a little time. bluer than Succulent. Yeah. Succulent's at more of a true green. So it's a core color. Yeah, that's more green. Yeah. But this is pretty. It's pretty. And I think if you mix it with the blues. I think it's also very similar. Where's Tranquil Tide? Here it is. I think this is going to be similar to Tranquil Tide. Which I think was a, is this 17 to 19 in color? Maybe. It's been a, a minute. I have the, this is Tranquil Tide paper, so it's a little greener. And then this is the Lost, Lost Lagoon. Lagoon. Let me get the succulent paper. Oh, there's probably some in the drawer over there. You see any? Yeah, this is so definitely if you mix greener. Succulent and tranquil tide, you get lost lagoon. So this is the only How new green. How does it compare to that's the Emerald Envy? This is also from That's a brighter green. When we were Yeah, it is. That went with blueberry bushel. That was a No, year. this was um with Dapper Dino. Oh, no, that was Call Me Clover. Yeah, which is right here. I've got all of the colors. This is a Call Me Clover. That's more of a yeah, green. That's, that was the year of the true colors. Yeah. That was my favorite year of colors. Pineapple, clover, blueberry. What was the pink? Maybe positively. Yeah. yeah. No. Or polished. No, polished pink is right now. It was lovely lipstick. Oh yeah. Yep. And grapefruit grove, both of which I loved. Okay, so that finishes off. Do you the want greens. just jade with this? It might be. Yeah, you can try it. Close. And then everybody's favorite returning favorite would be Lemon Lime Twist. Oh, I thought Peacock. I loved Peacock. I don't even... Ooh, my Just Jade is really, really <laughs> just up. That is not Just Jade. That is freshly re-inked Just Jade. Should I do a little lighter? I think Lemon Lime Twist was the color that when it left, everybody was That's like, true. bring it back. 
off, even barely touching it. That's what I get and for we reading just, it. Just jades. Yeah. Well, was, jade one, jade two. Light jade, dark jade. So lemon lime twist is a. I'll go get the parakeet. It's right here. No, I mean the paper. Oh, paper. Oh, there's. Oh, look. I wrote. I wrote little things on it. This was mm -hmm. pineapple punch. And then this must be the year of the in color lemon lime twist. Yep. Again, look how close that is. Because sometimes people think that their color packs have changed from one delivery to another. And sometimes it's where you store your paper. Um, this is granny apple. This is pear, which has is leaving. So if you like pear, get it. Oh, I'm going to go get the... Parakeet paper. Parakeet. And I can stamp lemon line and parakeet because yes, I've got both. Where's the marker? There it is. Oh, this is definitely more yellow. Yeah. You don't really notice it until, and then granny apple. Yeah. What used to, I used to think granny apple was such a bright green. And then we until got, we got parakeet. parakeet and they are very similar until, I'm sure until they dry. Yeah, until they dry. But look at that color. I mean, granny apple isn't even any kind of bright green at all. And I've got it right here. See, I, my dream is to do this with all of the colors. My dream is to also not be so busy that I had time to do this with all, all the colors. colors. Ooh, I inked that bad. There we go. I still inked it bad. That's Granny Apple. Which I think Gable Green is in there with those. That might not stamp well though. No, but I mean, label wise. Yeah, you can try it. We'll see what happens. Have celery too, but. Yeah, I mean, stamp This is pad a sponge wise. pad, not a fabric, so it might be better. It looks fabric. Oh, I was looking at the side. It's got yeah, nothing. That's nothing. That's <laughs> There's good. nothing. To the trash. That's what I'm getting on the ink. You want me to try celery? You can look at it. Pretty light. This is not a craft pad, so that's definitely fabric. That little piece of paper right there has soaked up soaked some in. ink. Celery was a very light one. Yeah. It was the barely banana of the green world. Oh, it works. Look at that. I kind of like that. We should have brought that back. That's pretty. <laughs> That's been, been gone for ages. Yeah. Okay, and then we have Pretty Peacock, which I love this color. Actually, it because your jade stamp so dark, jade yeah. is not that dark, no. but it's gonna look like it. I would think that it's mostly taken with teal. Which I also have if it were. It's a blue green. This is one I'm excited it comes back. It's, yeah, and No World is Peacock. Or jade darker than peacock, <laughs> yeah. except I. Well, it's drying later. Have recently inked them, but it could be similar to. So paper wise, we don't really have anything. Um, a long time ago, we had taken with teal. Is that taken yeah. with teal? That this is I the closest thing of paper we have. Tranquil Tide paper actually looks a little similar, just a little bit greener. Yeah, this is greener. Because those. This definitely has a blue tint yeah. to it. We'll see. Mm, there's some. <laughs> Give it a, a lot good of hope. squeeze. Yeah, that's bluer than. Yeah. And brighter. This is kind of a Tahitian tide. Yeah, it's lost whatever darkness that color used to have. To the trash. Oh, did we hit them all? Have we gotten all the new? Oh, nope, the pink. Yeah, we need to do pinks next. But we've done 
our blue and green sheets done. So you can we have one new pink, which is very sad. And mauve. Oh yeah, we have mauve, I forgot. Yep. Yeah. Two. So you can stamp those and I'll go That's get yours. A bunch of pinks to compare. Oh, Barry Burks. Oh, Barry we Burks. Have three. We have three. Why are you talking about one pink? I, all I can I have remember was the bubble bath. All of these pinks. Okay. Well, you pull out. Oh, and Fresh Freesia. It's staying. Yeah, it's staying. So we have right that. It is, and it falls in the. Is it a pink or a purple? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you stamp them, and then we'll figure out what of mine we need to go get. We'll do them. Um, like, do you want to get your yeah, open start with Freesia? The, yeah. We'll do. So just a heads up, if you buy the new core color pack to add all the new colors, you will get the colors that have been released before. So you're going to get Peacock and Lagoon and Blueberry. Blueberry. And you're going to get Fresh Freesia. So if you have the current ink colors, you have Fresh Freesia and you're going to get it again. Just a heads up. I'm just going to take these all out. So here is, which one are you doing? Berry Burst. Will you go get Bubble or Freesia? So I can go ahead and have all of them on here. Let me get the papers out. I'm gonna write the names on them. Yep. It's a good thing my um, studio space is not very distance wise. What colors do we want to compare them to? Blushing Bride, Petal Pink. Freesia doesn't really compare to any of the purples, yeah. Um. Not that I can think of. Not any current purples. No, certainly not. Um, really, the pink is pulling in a good. What about the mauve? Not really. No, I'll see what I have is close to old one. Merlot, maybe, and Razzleberry. Razzleberry yeah, Razzleberry is going to be a darker version of the mauve. Freesia. So you will get this in the packet and if you already have the colors. So you'll have to decide because it is a little bit of a savings. But if you don't buy that pad or if you still have your blueberry or your peacock, um, we'll have to decide if. Some comparison colors for sure. So in here's mine. Merlot. It's I think, pretty different. I think Rococo is going to be where we're going with that. In the dustier pinks. Razzleberry maybe. Closer to Berry Burst. I think it's kind of close. It's kind of in between those two. Yeah. I think Rococo is going to be a pinker version. They're both very dusty pinks. Yeah. I also think Sugar, or yeah, Sugar Plum is going to be similar to the Mauve. I don't remember how you spell that. I had an issue with it the whole time it was a color. Yeah, I knew Sugar Plum would be close. This is dustier. Yeah, this sugar plum is between bubble bath and moody mauve for sure. Okay, I'll stay and try Freesia so we okay. have all our new ones at the top. And there's really, I mean, Freesia, it probably purple posy, but that ink didn't stay around long enough. Oh, they... I've got it. <laughs> there's not much I don't have. Purple Posey is one of my favorites. I still use it all the time. You got one of the ones that yep, didn't disappear. I, can, I paint with it a lot. Which it's that chemical reaction thing. Yep. This is purpler. Yeah, it is. I think, so I have pink pirouette, which I think is yeah. going to be similar to bubble bath. Which I'll do dark and light of the blends. Oh, these are a little bit pinker. Bubble bath's a little more purple. I think it might be because it hasn't dried yet. And you might also, have you flipped that over? Yeah, I have. Because if it's getting any of that blue. I've been flipping. Okay. Uh, this is another one that, um, spelling issues, pirouette. The bubble bath is already lightening up. You have powder pink? Um, I think actually, ooh. So this is the bubble bath paper. I think pixie pink is going to oh, be yeah. close. We didn't get any new bright pinks, but here is. Oh, you broke it. 
I didn't break it, it just came in done. I thought about taking it apart at the beginning. Fingers and I thought, no, I'll have to. Oh, Pixie Pink's working. Well, it's not as old. Oh, well, that's brighter. Yeah, that's, bright. that's closer to when we had Magenta Madness. So Petal Pink always it. has that orange tinge that stayed. Petal Pink is my favorite. There's Powder Pink. That's gone. And Blushing Bright is now gone. I love blushing bright, but I that's the color of my um, wedding dress. So you don't have um, pink pirouette paper. I think the I don't think that we have the any. No, we, I have never really rose had paper. anything bubble bath color. No, that's a new color to us. I thought sugar plum would be close, but it's darker. Yeah, because sugar plum in the label. It's more, it's more it's, mauvey than I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, it is. This is a true pink. Well, it looks like if it's you're going to go pink. get the bubble bath, bubble yeah. box of bubble or bath. Bubble gum. <laughs> yeah. That makes you feel like a memory. Oh, well, this is old fairy first. Regal rose. No, not really. No. No, and I mean, you can do Razzleberry and Merlot, but Petal Pink and Blushing Bride don't hit any of that. No. Well, no. no. Blushing Bride's grayer of bubble yeah. bath. And Petal Pink's orange. I think this is going to be Merlot between may these two. hit a little bit on the mauve, but Merlot's going, right? Yeah. I think so. Isn't Razzleberry yeah, going Razzle too? The, both of these are leaving. So even if they hit there, we don't have them. Oh, that's way purple. It's very inked. <laughs> this stamp is dyed for eternity. Damn, I miss that pink now that I'm looking at it. It's what's our current? No, we don't. That was magenta oh, yeah. madness. We don't have that. I have that with me, but we don't have it either. We have the sorbet, oh, yeah. but that's Merlot red. Merlot is close. Yeah. This also needs to be reinked. Inked, yeah. That was on my things to do list is because about once a quarter I reink all my pads and it's been like around celebration I needed to do it. So it's getting further and further. Yeah. It's a good it and when your pads dry up, they get harder to reink. It's easier to ink re-ink a pad that's not dry. So it is good to keep up on it. I just haven't had time. Is Berry Burst close to lovely lipstick? It was a darker pink. You can try it. So this one was Merlot. That's Merlot. That's Razzleberry. That's Pixie. The um, Razzleberry is still, it has wet. Yeah, that <laughs> one was very inked. I just used it for something and I re-inked them. The ones that I've used for something. Lovely lipstick is like a lighter burst. Close. That's an old it's one. A berry burst. It may be close to. Huh? Yeah. I've got two of it them. It may be dried up. Well, I've got two. So we'll. Oh. <laughs> I made a mess <laughs> this one. I think it looks like one of those ones that oozed. Now I can't tell if they're inking because the stamps just died pink. It feels inky. Yeah, that's kind of similar. Berry burst is prettier. Yeah. I think I just got um, more stamps. Yeah, I hear them. I got a couple of other bundles. Because, you know, I didn't get enough yesterday. Well, I think that's pretty good. We will, um, I'm going to stamp a couple of these with the things that are the closest. That yeah. are kind of current, more current. Um, and we'll have a nicer chart for you. But I think that's it. I'm not going to turn the camera back around. So, we'll just say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and, um... We will put our websites down underneath the video because each of these videos will be on our YouTube station. Um, so, channel, whatever. So, thanks for watching. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the new colors. I'm eager I'm to excited. use them. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.